Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if this is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notification. Today, we're going to learn how you can create a simple download button using CSS and then HTML. When I click on this download button, it's basically going to download every file associated to this button. You can see I've downloaded a calendar. That's the Excel file. I've downloaded it and it's showing right here at the bottom left corner. I'm going to walk you through how to do this in this video tutorial. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on post notification. And let me know at the comment section if indeed you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's jump right in. I'm using my favorite code editor. I'm using the VSC code editor. And I have my file, my CSS file. My index file and then i also have a folder containing the file the file i want my client to download so that's what we're going to do now let's see how to do this we first need to organize this file and this file i have it on my desktop so this is it i have everything organized within this i'm going to delete this and then we can create our own files so let me just go ahead and then create a new file let me just call this download Okay, so this is my file and then I'll create a simple a stack folder within this. Let me just call this also file. And then the file I want my client to download is basically going to be within this. I'm going to use the same file. So I'll open the old one and just copy that file. Right click and then copy this and then I'll just paste it here. It's going to be within this folder. Now, we can open this within the test, the code editor. So let me just close this. Let's go to file and then go to what open folder and then we select a new one. So this is a new folder I created called download and then open this. I'm gonna open this in my code editor. So now we have only the file which I want my client to download. We want to create our own files now, the CSS file and then the HTML file. So click on file and then let's name this index.html. And then we also want to create the last one which is going to be our star dot css okay, so these are the two files we're going to use to do this i can go ahead and then save this whilst i work on this let's generate our html template by pressing shift and then the exclamation sign then you can hit the tab key and i'm going to generate the template for you okay so let me just go ahead and let me just name this download file so this is just going to be the title of our file and then within this let's just say we want to create a link to the file so use the anchor and then we have to refer this to the file remember the file we're going to link our client to is within the file folder so backslash and then we select what the calendar.xlsx that is the uh, excel file so let's say let's give it a name let's call this one what download now let's save this and then we'll open it within our browser and to do that, we can just open the file. And you can see what I created. Everything is showing over here. Open the index. And then you can see we now have the download right here. We have the download over here. When I click on this, it should download. But let's try and center this in the middle of our browser. And it's going to look better. So we're going to use the CSS. So in order to do this, we have to first link our CSS file within our header. So let's see. Link. And then hit the tab key and then we are going to say star so this is a file here star dot css we're going to write all the css file within this which i've already opened within the tab now use the start i'll use the star selector select everything on my browser and then let's try to format this we can set the padding to zero let's set padding to zero we set padding to zero we set margin to zero as well let's set the margin also to zero so that is what we're going to do and then we'll say box sizing we're also going to say set box sizing we're also going to say box sizing and now we're going to set it to border box okay we just want to reset our browser now this is done and it's not really going to do anything much for now let me just save this and let's load our browser and then see okay you can see the space around this will just vanish for now now let's go ahead and then do the rest of the formatting and we target our body and let's target the body of this 
Now what we have to do is that we're going to display everything as flex. Okay. So we say display. We're going to say display and then we call it what? Let's call flex. You're going to use a flex box. If you know more about flex box, this will be easy for you. I will do additional videos using flex boxes and grid system. So subscribe and then wait for those videos. Let's say we want to justify. Let's say justify contents. And then we're going to use the center. We want everything to move to the center. And then we also want to use. Let's give a height for this. Let's say height is going to be 100 VH. So vertical and the horizontal alignment. And we also want to give a flex direction. We want to be in the column. So let's see what we've done so far. Let me save this and then come here and then reload this. You see, everything now is at the top over here. We have the download chain over here. Now let's put something simple below this, a paragraph below this, and let's ask people to download. So we'll just create a P paragraph and let's say download. Let's say download file. Okay. So let's say download file and everything is going to move together. So save this and then we load this back. And you can see everything over here. Now we want it to be in a separate line. So what we'll do is that let's write some few CSS to do that. So in order to have them in a separate line, let's say we're going to use flex. So we're going to say flex direction. I'm going to say column. Okay. I'm going to set this to column so each one will be on a separate column okay so let's go here and then let's load this and see so we have everything set up here now you can see we have the download and then towards download button and this here so we're going to center this we're going to align items to the center so let's use that over here align and let's see let's see align items so we're going to be plural align items towards center okay so let's do that and we save this and let me load this so now i have everything in the center here as expected so now we can just format this again and then add some few other options so now we can target just the length that's the anchor we can just target that and then also apply some formatting to that we can display everything as block block level element and and we can also say background we can give a background to the text box we want to use we can set the background for that let's say we call this let's call a cyan background for this any color you prefer to use you can do that let's save this and reload this okay let's reload this you can see how this is looking we're going to add a formatting to this the bits okay so we'll go ahead remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial the spacing is too much so we're going to add some padding of about 20 i think 10 will be enough let's add 10 pixels as a padding to this we save this and then reload this in the browser and then see so the spacing for now is small but we've added some padding okay i think this is quite small so i'll change it to a 20 20 15 or should be okay so that is okay for now let me reload this now we have enough space around this so we'll go ahead and add some more formatting to this now we're going to say we want to give a width so let's give a weight of let's say 300 pesos to this give a weight of 300 pesos to this and text align let's align the text at the center so let's say text align say what center and i also want to add a border radius to this so i'll say border dash radius and i'll say i want to give that of seven pesos to this now save this and then reload this and see we'll reload this in our browser and you can see how amazing this is looking now i want to remove this underlining from our text so i'll say text decoration is set to none text I say decoration will set it to none okay this is supposed to be none this way and i want to remove the underlining okay so if you don't want this you want to improve on the font and every other thing you should be able to do that when i see how this is going to look when i click on this download button you see everything is downloading it has downloaded a file 
the file that we added it's, it's been able to download this file you can download it as many as you want okay so like subscribe for more of my video i'll be doing a lot of videos using coding and other it related stuff so to get more of those videos like and subscribe for more till i come your way again bye bye